<laughs> so we are yeah, starting. Let's see. And we are live. Okay. Okay, we'll get started. Uh, the notice requirement provided for the open public meetings law has been satisfied. The notice was properly given, said notice having been transmitted to the Courier News on Wednesday, March 21st, 2021 as well as posting on the city's website. Clerk, may we have a roll call? Council, Council members Davis? Present. Kenna? Present. Craig? Present. Mills Ransom? Present. Welsh? Present. Vice President Good? Present. Council President Hawk? Present. We have all members present in a quorum. Thank you. A uh, total of 30 minutes has been allocated for public comments limited to resolutions and ordinances being considered this evening. Only resolutions, though. Uh, if you wish to be heard, please hit the hand in icon to be recognized. You'll be unmuted. Give your name and address for the record. Each speaker will be given three minutes. The floor is now open. Okay, hearing and seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to close public comment. So moved. Second. You have a hand up actually. Hands up now, yes. Okay. Okay, great. I was hoping we had at least some community communication. All right. Please uh, state your name and address for the record. Uh, Timothy Priano. 1405 Martina Avenue. I reviewed from what you presented as the budget. We still are in COVID. We're still not putting anything in place to protect us for people that are going to have to realign their lives next year. Again, a lot of people are still not working. A lot of companies are not going to expand. They're remotely moving people to the Midwest to Southern states, the burden, burden of the taxes is gonna be heavy on the people here. I just hope that you can make reservations in here, accommodations, it does not look good. We have to tighten our belts. There is no way that certain people are gonna be able to survive. Myself, I don't think I'll survive if the taxes go up any higher in our city, in the county, in the state, we have to be prepared for the worst that could happen. And we're just spending money as we spend. We're not looking forward and we can't be taxed one more round. I know we're on a flat zero, but we took out a million dollars last year on a five-year payment plan. We just can't keep going this way. It's impossible for so many other people in town to keep paying. We have to really look at ways that we're gonna invest in our people, the homeowners here, so that they don't have to leave Plainfield and it's, or Union County. I mean, so many are saying they're going to Southern Jersey because the taxes are half. We're just gonna lose so many people. That's all I'm asking is we have to tighten our belts, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, John. You can unmute yourself and state your name and address for the record. John, name and address for the record, please. Unmute yourself. You're the next, uh, you're the next caller. Okay, going once, going twice for John and we'll move on. John talking is permitted now. Okay. All right. Uh, next uh, is Austin Bailey. State your name and address for the record. It's Garnell Bailey. I'm sorry oh. about that. Oh, that's not um, 
Good evening, everybody. I needed to uh, make sure that I address the mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for immediately sending out someone to Spooner Avenue because I'm at 708 Spooner. Um, and I was under the impression that the fire hydrant was not working. You immediately sent someone out based on my comment that I made at the last city council meeting. Immediately the following morning, someone came out from the fire department, checked it, it is working. It is working. I was in error. And I wanna thank you for your um, immediate attention to that matter. You're welcome, Dr. Bailey. Okay. Let's see. Anyone else? Okay. I entertain a motion to close public comment. Moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any abstentions or abstentions? Public comment is now closed. All right, prior to consideration of tonight's resolutions, uh, I believe Mr. Uh, uh, Director West, our Director of Finance has a presentation uh, for the overview of the budget. Uh, Mr. West, the floor is yours. All right, uh, Aliko, would you share uh, the slides, please? Yes, we're gonna talk this evening about the 2021 introduced budget. Next page, please. The 2021 introduced budget has no tax increase. The proposed budget is $86,515,442.59. When you talk about the tax rate, the tax rate decreased from $4.91 to $4.909 per $100 of assessed value. I've also included uh, three snapshots of the municipal taxes going back to 2019, which were the, for the average assessed household was $5,300 you know, back in 2019, and it's down to $5,289.94. Next slide, please. You know, in light of uh, 2020 and all of the challenges we faced, I thought it was important to go over some of the key accomplishments you know, that took place in 2020. You know, the Moody's rating remained A1 for bonds and MIG1 for bond anticipation notes with a positive outlook. We were able to add $8 million to the fund balance. The tax collection rate increased to a record 97.54%. We were able to sell 16 properties for $1.2 million. We had zero audit findings. And we invested approximately $4 million in infrastructure-based improvement, you know, capital improvement initiatives. Next slide. When you look at the future and some of the city's key priorities, uh, first and foremost, I would tell you we are looking forward to continuing economic development. There's a need to fund programs to play a lead role in community health and wellness. We are looking at uh, various ways to reduce overtime costs. We want to continue to sell city owned properties. We are looking at ways to arrive at a point where we have property tax stabilization, as well as continued investing in, city, in the city's infrastructure. We are looking at various ways uh, of reversing the decline in rateables. But by, by the same token, we are also looking at uh, safely restoring modified recreation programs for this year. And with that, again, I'll repeat that the budget is a little over $86 million with absolutely no tax increase. With that, I end my report. The president. Yes, Mayor. Would you I like to speak? Yes, I would like to speak on this budget, which we are introducing this evening for the purpose of having the council approve this budget so that it becomes yours. And then you could take the appropriate actions once you approve this budget this evening. Floor is um, yours. 
as all of you know, it's been a very challenging year and the administration with your support has done a great deal to make sure that we keep the city afloat, moving forward and providing services to our residents. And so I charge the administration with making sure that they look deep, look hard and do the absolute best possible to create a budget that would allow us to provide a high level of services to the residents of Plainfield, while at the same time, keeping in mind the need for austerity measures and the need to keep the interests of our residents first and foremost, given the hardships that so many people are facing. And with all of that in mind, we knew that it was important to restore recreational programs. And so this budget does precisely that. I think it is extremely important for me to draw attention to one of the slides that was presented by Director West, the one that says no tax increase for the second year in a row, not only is there no tax increase? But if you look carefully or closely at those numbers, you would see that we have reduced taxes in each of the last two years. The taxes in 2019 for the average homeowner was $5,300. We reduced it in 2020 to $5,294. And this year, based on this introduced budget that you will be approving this evening, we have again reduced taxes down to $5,290 for the average homeowner. So we're doing all of this at a time when we know that there are hardships experienced by people, at a time when we know that we have to continue to provide a high level of services, and yet we are able to give you this kind of a budget that shows a tax reduction for the second year in a row. And so I thank you for considering this budget. As some of you know, there has to be a public hearing on this budget, not less than 28 days after its introduction, which 28 days gets us to exactly April the 26th. And so once you, once you approve this budget this evening, I would like to propose that we consider the date of April 29th for a public hearing on the introduced budget. And with that, I turn it back to you. I thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate that, uh, the introduced budget. Okay, Mr. Clerk, will you read uh, the reading of the resolution. Resolution 140-21, authorizing introduction of the calendar year 2021 Plainfield Municipal Budget. Okay, I'm scanning the screen from, for questions from council members. I have a question. Councilwoman Davis, please. Um, so first I want to applaud the administration and the council budget and finance committee for coming together um, to introduce a budget that decreases taxes. Um, I'm also glad to see that property tax stabilization is one of the priorities. Um, is it possible, like how likely is it that we can stabilize property taxes so that we again next year uh, don't have, in, so we again next year have a zero increase in property taxes? Is that possible with the current budget we have now? Um, and I also want to say that I'm glad to see that we had record tax collection, even in the midst of a pandemic and even in the midst of people facing so many financial challenges and hardships. So let me attempt to address that and the business administrator or director West could add. But yes, the goal as was stated in the presentation is to keep taxes stable and we will work again in this coming year to generate the kinds of revenues 
that will help us to do precisely that, which is why it is so critically important for us to get the support of all members on the council as far as our economic development initiatives are concerned, because the only way to keep taxes stable is by generating revenues and our economic development vision for this city and what we've been doing so far is because of the additional revenues that we are likely to generate from these redevelopment projects that will be a shot in the arms financially of the city that will help us to keep taxes stable. So yes, that is our goal and we would work towards that end. Mayor, I'll add um, just to Councilwoman Davis's question that I feel very confident um, that this budget, because as you know, we're comparing this budget to last year's budget, which was a very lean budget due to COVID. So this budget is even less than that one. You know, it's a tax decrease from that, even with the restoration of the recreation programs, the pools, the parks, all the things that are gonna be opening that residents are gonna to get to enjoy um, in the upcoming months. So considering that we went from one of our tightest ever budgets in a COVID year when many programs were slashed to this new budget, which is even, you know, at even a tax decrease from that with the restoration of the programs, I feel very confident moving forward that our revenues will be increasing some, you know, slowly by sh but surely. And now, now we already have these recreation programs built into the budget. So I feel very comfort, very confident about the future, the future of our financial state. Thank you. It just took a lot of leaning out on our end. We thought we were as lean as we could be last year, but we leaned up. And you did a great job. Thank you. Scanning the room for additional questions from council members. Thoughts, comments? Okay. All right, well, I'm sure that, you know, during the budgeting process, there'll be plenty of opportunities to ask more additional questions and scrutinize the line items on this budget. <clears throat> uh, with that said, do we have a motion and a second? Council President, I move that we adopt the budget as presented. Second. I second. Okay, all those uh, in favor of accepting the introduction of the budget? Aye. 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 Uh, Any oppositions or abstentions? Okay. Uh, this resolution is approved. Clerk, uh, read the next resolution. Resolution 141-21 of the November 2021 Citizens Budget Advisory Committee. Any questions from council members? Yes. Councilwoman Davis? Um, it may be a misplaced question, but do we know what the budget hearing schedule is going to look like yet? Uh, we're, we're almost there. Um, I know we'll have it probably in short, in short order, um, but I, I know the overall goal is to, you know, as the mayor stated in the beginning is to have uh, a budget by, I think, the end of, end of May, May. So we'll space everything appropriately to kind of take place in between that hearings in April and May. But I, I don't have a schedule exactly yet, but we'll, we'll get it to you shortly. Thank you. Any additional questions? All right. Uh, is there a motion and a second? So moved. Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Okay, any opposition or abstentions? Okay, this resolution is approved. I'll now in, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. So moved. Second. Second, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition or abstentions? Okay, thanks, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.